Hi, I'm Crystalyn Matei, and I'm a Creative Memories Advisor as well as a content contributor for the Creative Memories Home Office. I'm excited to share with you a layout that I think could make a great title page for your next travel album. I love making albums of my travels. It helps me to relive the whole vacation as I'm making the album, and then I'm able to relive it and refer back to it every time I look at the album in the days after. Please comment below and tell me what trips have you taken that you still need to put an album together for? What trips do you have coming up that you can get an album ready for? How cool would it be to have your title page ready and waiting for your pictures? So we're going to use the brand new Passport to Adventure collection and the custom cutting system with the jumbo circle pattern. We will also need white cardstock the 12 inch trimmer, tape runner, repositionable tape runner, tape chips, foam squares, black pen, ruler and pencil, and possibly some scissors. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to establish what we're going to use for our base of the layout. And I have, I've got this sheet that I want to use as the, as the background. And it's got some airplanes and it's got some cars and I just like that that kind of striped look. I really love the other side too and I want to use this round, I want to make a round shape with the jumbo circle pattern with this. So I'm going to be using both sides. You know, you could use two separate sheets of paper but I think I'd rather save my, my designer paper and I'm going to use a piece of cardstock as the base and we'll just build a layout on that. So what I'm gonna to need to do is cut out a circle from this, this pattern. Now, what I'm gonna use, I'm actually going to place a little bit of repositionable adhesive in the corners because I want this to stay put. And I'm just gonna take my jumbo circle pattern I want this to be a little bit offset. So my best way to describe what where I think it needs to be is to go to the very there are there are these two sets of grooves. And if you if you make sure that these last two, this last set of grooves is off the page, off the paper on both the right side and the bottom you're gonna be right about where we wanna be. So we're gonna use the red blade. And for those of you who may be using the circle cutter, we are gonna be making a, about a little bit bigger than an 11 inch circle. And really we're gonna be about an inch and a half or so away from the top and the left side. So we're just gonna be cutting these pieces off using the outside And I'm going to go around this way and then I'm going to come back around over here. And now I need to do this little piece right here too. So I'm just going to kind of start over and I'm going to go up and down. Okay, so once you've got that, you're going to end up with this little piece. And this piece, and then this is your circle that you're going to flip. And you'll be able to put this back together like this. So this is why we want that base piece. So I'm going to just place my white cardstock on here, and then I can adhere the rest of my paper to it. And I'm doing this mostly because I love this gold paper um, and I think it really adds a, a nice added pop of color for travel pages and I just I don't want to I don't want to use up two pieces of paper for this so that is my method here Okay, 
here and then this piece. Make sure you get those corners. And then I'm just going to shimmy this until we get it right about right. We are going to be kind of covering a little bit of this as well. So if you don't have it exactly perfect, you're going to be okay. So I see right down here at the bottom, I'm going to want to just cut that a little bit at the end. Okay, so otherwise it looks good. Everything's just about how we want it. If you did want to cut this out separately, it really won't matter. You can just cut this right out of the middle of another sheet of paper and then just trim off the edges when you place it on your background. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna create these little arrows and I've already made a bunch of them, but this is what's gonna really add life to our layout. And I was kind of inspired to make these by the stickers that Creative Memories has. So they have these really cute little arrow stickers. <clears throat> and I really like them. I think they add, there's also this one here. And I wanted to recreate those for my layout. And so I think just arrows in general just add kind of some fun direction. They add some movement. It's kind of like, here we go, you know, we're off on our adventure. And so I really wanted to incorporate those. So I've already made some with the, like the dark sea green, the gray, the navy, but I want to make some also with green. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. You're going to take your green paper and you can use scraps for this. And we, we want to cut a strip and you're going to want to strip with each of these four colors at one and three sixteenths. Kind of a specific size, but it seems to work well. So cut that one and three sixteenths, and then you're gonna want to fold this in half lengthwise. And you can just do it, you know, like this and fold it in half. I'm actually gonna use the scoring blade to help me a little bit. And I'm just gonna place this in the trimmer and just kind of look and make sure I'm kind of even on both sides. It's not easy to be super exact this way, but I think it'll work. And then you just want to place a light score line. And it'll just help you to make your fold a little easier. And try to get that as even as you can. It's not quite even. I'm going to just make it work. Okay. All right. So the next thing we need to do. And I'm gonna actually flip this over to the other side of my, my mat because, so I've actually got two 13 inch mats that I duct taped together so I can do a two page layout. And when I'm only using one side, they're folded, but it's kind of nice to keep my layout on the other side. And then on this side, I can actually do some cutting and, and other things. So I'm gonna try to make this as easy to explain as I can. You want to line up your folded piece of paper on the 13 inch mat. And I'm actually going to line up an, another ruler next to it just to kind of help you see what I'm doing. And you're going to go from the top, you're going to go down to one and a quarter and you're going to place a little mark. So one and a quarter inches down. And then you're going to go to the other side and you're going to go another one and a quarter inches down. <clears throat> so that's at two and a half. Whoops and do another tick mark. I'm trying to make this dark and now I'm, okay. And then you're gonna go another two and a half or one and a quarter. So now you're at three and three quarters. And 
And you're going to go down another inch and a quarter. You're at five. And you get the idea. You keep going. We, we need 10 of these total. And if you're doing strips with four colors, you don't need that many in each one. So that's probably about all we need. So we basically, every one and a quarter inches, we have a mark on opposite sides. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to put this in my trimmer. Now you could do this with a scissor. You could do this with a personal trimmer, which I often do because I, I do like to work with um, the personal trimmer when I'm doing kind of small things. So we'll, we'll see. I'm going to try this. And I want to also say that when I'm doing using something like this, the reason I folded this instead of actually cutting two separate strips it's because I really want it to stay together and not move around on me. We are going to eventually be cutting them apart. So either choice, the personal trimmer or the 12 inch trimmer will work, but you want to go from the very corner to your first tick mark and just shimmy it around till you get right at that angle. You want this to be pretty precise and you're going to cut that off and discard it. Now we're just gonna move this around and we're gonna find that tick mark right, right there and we're gonna go to the next one on the opposite side. Again, just kind of keep using your, your little guides here to kind of make sure that you're where you want it to be. And you cut that off. Okay, so you've got two pieces like this, okay? And then you just want to keep going back and forth and doing the same thing. So now we're going to the other one. And I want a total of three green ones. So I've got two. And three. Okay, so you see that, you know, some of them are going to come apart like this, and some of them will be, you know, a diamond shape. And we really just want the, them to be apart. So here's where you would just take your scissor or your trimmer or your personal trimmer, and you're just going to cut them apart. I'm going to actually cut this on my personal trimmer. Now you want to bring in your tape chips and the reason I'm using tape chips will be pretty apparent in, in short order. You want to flip your pieces over to the back side and you're going to put two long sides on the outside and you're going to bring two short sides in together to make your point. And then you're going to take a tape chip and you'll use this to hold it together. Now you could just use regular tape runner at this point. Um, that would hold it, but it also makes it really sticky. And if you're not quite ready to stick things down, I really like using the tape chips for that. So it's just kind of holding it together. And you'll do the same thing with the next one. And again, I'll, sh I'll show you that now using just a tape runner. It's just a little messier, I think. But it'll, it'll serve the same purpose. It's just sticky for right now. Okay, so whatever works for you. And then you're gonna pull these together. Last time. So you could make up, if you're using tape chips, you could certainly make a bunch of these up and just kind of have them ready to use on something. And they would they'd be really cute um, for more layouts. And you're gonna have extras from that strip that you that you cut too. You're going to have a whole bunch of extra. We're only using a, a portion of it. So it'd be kind of neat with this album to make a bunch of these and you could have arrows on, you know, like this on lots of different pages and do something kind of fun. All right. So now we have, like I say, you want 10 total. And now we're going to come back to our layout and we're just going to lay these out. <clears throat> and 
and I just am going to lay them down with that middle part along the edge of my circle. And so just kind of vary them, put different colors around it. Give yourself, you know, a little bit of space between them. Green, I'll use a gray. And I really like the tonal papers for this. I think if you use a printed paper, it's it's going to get really busy. And you want to just really see those arrows. And this is another reason why it's kind of nice to use the tape chips at this point because it's not sticky and I'm able to move these around however I want, get them in the right place, space them out properly. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of keep, keep moving these until I feel like they're evenly spaced. Okay, right about like that I think will work. This one already has tape, but we want to make sure we get those corners down. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, we need ten of them. So we're, with each one, we're just going to make sure we get adhesive on all the points, and we're going to stick it down. Now for the ones where you, that one had tape runner, but, you know, you can take the, the little tab off this or not, but it gives you a little bit of extra sticky to do that. Just make sure everything is together and then place it right on that circle. Okay, now doesn't it look like you are ready to travel around the world? I like how fun this is, and I think really it, it would make a wonderful title page for an album. It's just kind of a, a nice, exciting start to, a, to an album. Okay, so now we want to add room for pictures, and you could do anything you want at this point. You could just put one nice big one on the front with the, um, the name of the location, and so London 2024, and just there it is. It's one nice big, big um, photo. But I think we might want to do, I'm going to do it the way that I did it for the home office for that particular layout I did for them. So I'm just going to follow those instructions. <clears throat> so we want to make one big mat. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this one is going to be five and three quarters. By four and a quarter, and I'm using I'm using the the blue map maps paper for this. So five and three quarters by four and a quarter, and then we'll use some white cardstock to double match. And so our our cardstock piece is going to be three and three quarters. by five and a quarter. And so your photo would be five by three and a half, okay? And then we're gonna, you would crop two more photos and I'll just use white cardstock to stand in for those. And they are gonna be three and a half by three and a half. wasn't quite wide enough. Let me crop one more piece of scrap here. Let's just cut this. Three and a half. 
by three and a half. Okay. And so these I would just kind of layer. And I, I wasn't planning, you know, I didn't map my photos here initially. You could do whatever you like best. But basically lining those up there. Quick put some tape on these and get them down. And then we can start embellishing. And that is the fun part, right? So I'm going to place this, you know, right about here. Give me a little bit of space on the edge and and then I'll place these above. I'm just going to tuck a little bit behind here. And this one is a little bit above. Okay, so you've got this part going on. Now we can add our embellishments. So I'm going to start by adding some tickets to the bottom. We'll just add a little bit of life to the bottom of this. And I'm also going to use one of these arrows to tie in with the arrows that we just created. They're a little delicate. going to overlap them a little bit. I'm going to place this one kind of coming down this way. And then we're going to place this one going up the other way. Just, just kind of a little bit of fun. And then we've got opportunity to do some more. So I've got, I picked out uh, one of the embellishments that I'll use as a journal box. And I'm just gonna kind of tuck that in here. And then we can add more stickers. So these stickers are super fun. And depending on the mode of travel that you've done, I mean, you could try, you could do anything. So here you could, if this was a road trip, you could use cars. If it's a train trip, you could use trains. I'm gonna stick with what I did in the original and I'm gonna pretend that we're flying somewhere exotic and I'm gonna use the airplane. So we'll take our clouds. clouds here and now I can pop my little airplane up with foam squares and I guess it's taking off so we're just gonna Kind of have the airplane going up just like we are going around the world. We're traveling, we're flying away. And then let's add the other stuff. So at the bottom, I've got our suitcases packed. Oh, this is making me want to hit the road. I want to travel again so badly. Okay, so now we're just going to add these down here, kind of at that intersection where these, where these stickers crossed. Let me put this guy over here. And I'll put this one next to it. We've got our suitcases. Looks like we've got our carry-on and our checked bag. And now we want a title here. Oh, 
where do you most want to go? I have such a long list. We went to Spain in the fall and it just gave me the bug. I want to go so many other places. Okay, we want a camera and another title. So I want to do, you know, a visual triangle. So that kind of puts me somewhere up in this little area up here. So I am going to use the sightseeing sticker and the camera, and we're going to put them both, put foam squares on both of them. You want to kind of be thinking about, you know, where you put your foam squares so that they're not kind of, uh, as you close the album, that you don't have so many layers in one spot. So kind of be judicious about it when you're thinking about that. Make sure they're in places that that won't interfere with, with other pages when you close the book. Little things you have to kind of keep in mind. And you don't have to use them at all. Um, if you really want to keep your book kind of uh, thinner, more manageable, but I really love them. I think they really add a lot of dimension. Okay, so we're just gonna put this guy up here and we still got room to put all our photos on here. And now we've kind of got that lots of movement going on here. So we've got the We've got the visual triangle that kind of takes your eye across the layout and all over the layout. And then we've got the action, the motion of our arrows kind of traveling us around the world. So I hope that you like this and give it a try. Please shoot me a comment and tell me what pictures are going to go in this album that you make next of your great adventure. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.